Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 74 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we are going to spawn the mighty and terrifying Wither Boss. And then we're going to kick the snot out of him and take his lunch money. <laughs> he is a big bully, and he beats everybody up and takes their stuff. So we're going to give him a taste of his own medicine today. That's what we're going to do. But we need to get prepared for this battle because he is a tough cookie. And, uh, of course, first we have to get the ingredients to summon him. Now, we have to craft him with soul sand and wither skeleton skulls. And I do have one wither skeleton skull, but we're going to have to go to the nether and grab a couple more. We need three total. And while we're here, I'm going to grab the mighty golden apple that we had crafted, oh, quite a long time ago. And I hung on to this for this particular reason. Um, this is going to come in handy when fighting this big fella. And gold, I don't quite have enough gold to make another golden apple. I was hoping to have two, but I don't have enough gold. You need to make a golden apple, and if you want to go check that tutorial out, um, I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, this apple is going to give us some fire resistance, melee resistance, and some uh, really nice regeneration, health regeneration for quite some time. And just enough probably to last... Uh, well, I would be more comfortable if I had two, frankly. Um, but... Not enough gold to do that. So, did you eat that sand? I don't recall. Hey, put the sand, spit it out. I don't. Why? No. Why would I have a hole in my beach? Man, squids are getting hungry. Anyway, I would prefer to have. Um, yeah, I would prefer to have at least two golden apples. But unfortunately, I only have the one. We're going to have to make do. What happened to my wither skeleton skull? Oh, good. We have an iron chest plate. I'm going to bring that one. And I thought I had a skull here. Am I thinking of perhaps a different let's play? Looks like I'm going to have to get three wither skeleton skulls. I thought I had one on my fireplace. Okay, I'm not going nuts. <laughs> there was a wither skeleton skull right here. I went back and watched my old videos. In fact, it was the episode where I built this anvil and the forge, and I stuck that wither skeleton skull right on that brick. Right there. Now it's gone. So, all right. I'm going to go to the police department and file a, uh, a report. I've been burglarized. The Acme Corp has been burglarized. So let me go do that, and I'll be right back, and then we'll head over to the wither. Uh, to the nether and get three wither skeleton skulls. Be right back. Shazam! Here we are, back in the nether. Seems like it's been a dog's age since we've been here. Let's get down here, say hello to all our little nether friends. We're back! Frankly, I really only need to chat with a couple of wither skeletons. And in essence, that's why we're here. We need to get three wither skeleton skulls. And also some soul sand. I think I may have some back at uh, back at the cottage, but just in case, I'll pick up some of that. And that's how we that's how we make the wither boss. Basically, you make him right in the world, just like we do with the iron golem. But uh, we need the skulls first, and we're gonna need three. And this could take some time because not um, they don't always drop skulls when you kill them, the wither skeletons. But this is where you find them, fortresses, and they just randomly spawn occasionally. And it, Oh, there's one up top there. Let's go get him. See, he just spawned in behind me, a little chump. Making me run. Now, I did do a full tutorial on wither skeletons and how to fight them and what they can do to you. And they do have that nasty little wither effect. So we're going to have to be careful here. Whoa. Arg. And this guy seems to have a couple of friends. So let's just get rid of the friends. There we go. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to get that blaze right. Here he comes. Hello! It says right here you're an organ donor. Come for your skull. Oops. Get one. Yes! There it is! Uh, but dude, skull's not an organ. <laughs> well, it is today. So don't argue. All right, one down, two to go. I was in the middle of having my dessert there. I didn't quite get it down the gullet fast enough before that chump was on top of me. All right, so two more to go. 
And we'll be out of here. All right. Well, I killed at least another dozen skele wither skeletons, and only one of them was an organ donor. So I've got his skull. And we're going to head back with two skulls, and I'm just going to pretend that that other one is still at the forge. So I'm going to cheat and pull it out of creative. I just don't have time to keep hunting around. It's been like 20 minutes. And now it's time to continue with the tutorial and get this wither boss summoned. And then uh, we'll beat him up. And get that nether star. Oh, by the way, I also collected 20 soul sand. And we're going to need that as well. So anyway, that was the whole point of this exercise being here in the nether was to get those ingredients so that we can summon the uh, the wither boss and then beat him up. So I'll meet you back home in about one second. Welcome back, Slowpoke. What took you so long? Anyway, here we are, Tower of Power. We are in the alchemy lab and we're going to brew up a handful of potions that will help us in this battle against the wither boss. Let's take a look at what we have and what we're going to need. So I'm going to bring um, instant health potions. Actually, we're going to turn these into splash potions, but health two are the ones you want. That's a stronger variety. We're going to want potions of swiftness too. We're going to crank that up a little bit as well. And also strength potions. And I don't have any of those right now, so we're going to brew some of those up. I've got two potion brewing stands ready to go with awkward potions. So why don't we go ahead and grab some blaze powder and we'll turn those into strength potions. And by the way, I've already done um, tutorials on brewing. So if you need a refresher, go ahead and watch those. Um, this is, I'm going to be moving pretty quickly here. This is more of a just a let's get this done and move on demonstration. All right, so now we have our strength three. Three minutes of strength one. We want to boost that up with a little glowstone. So let's put one of those in there. I'd rather have strength two, which does more damage with every hit, and that's kind of the idea. Is we don't want to be in a prolonged battle with this guy. We want to get in close, get him up against the rope, swing, 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 swing as fast as we can, hit as hard as we can, and the strength potions are really going to help in that regard, and take him down fast. The longer you're in this battle, the more it's going to hurt, and we really want to take advantage of this golden apple while it provides us with some resistance and regeneration, which is not going to last long. Let's put these guys in here, and we're going to turn those into Splasheruskis. Basically grenades, and we can use these not only to heal ourselves in battle by tossing them up in the air at our feet, but they'll also do damage to the Wither Boss if he gets too close. Yes, pretty cool stuff. Speed! Let's hit the speed potions with uh, Glowstone. That'll cut the time down a little bit, but it will make me faster, about 40% faster than normal speed. And as you can see, the same thing happened to strength. So the 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 it makes me more it makes me stronger and hit harder, but you do lose the duration. But that's okay. This fight shouldn't take longer. If we do things right, this fight shouldn't take longer than a minute and a half. And that's barring that everything goes that that well, that's barring there's no monkeys uh monkey wrenches in the works, because you never know what happens when Minecraft, uh when you're playing Minecraft, anything can go wrong at any given moment. But in a perfect world, this fight should be over pretty quickly. Okay, so I don't think we're going to need all these. Um, let's just bring two of those. And two of these. And I'll bring all three of these for now. We might need them. Okay, so we have all our potions ready. Actually, you know, a night vision potion might not be bad either. Because the way we fight this guy is we're going to be... Um, we're going to be underground. We're going to be in the dark. We're going to have torches around us. And if he knocks the torches out, we could be in a world of hurt. Um, and I don't have any... All right. You know what? We'll just take our chances. If you are able to make a night vision potion, that will help too. And let's... We're going to make up a whole new set of armor. Again, this fight shouldn't last very long. And I don't want him screwing up my good diamond stuff. And my heavily protected or enchanted gear. So let's get down to the enchantment room. And let's toss a, a onesies. Let's toss a couple of onesies on these guys. Oh, that's what we want. We want protection. Perfect. Protection one. Blast protection one's nice. Protection, protection, protection. Awesome. And that way, I really want these preserved. I don't want this to get damaged. Because we're going to take a lot of damage. 
and uh, if we can preserve some of our goodies, all the better. Okay, so what do we have? We have our three skulls, we have our soul sand, we have our potions, we have our golden apple. I'm going to need more food. I'm going to go down and grab some food from Cozy Cottage, and then we're going to go find a spot to, to make this guy, and we're going to do this way underground. Oh, Iron Golem's beating somebody up. Iggy! You just wail on someone, pal? Thanks. Appreciate it. So, um, I'll meet you when we get a little chow, so hang tight. Be right back. Alrighty, I think we have everything we need for the Royal Rumble. Are you ready to rumble? The only thing I don't have is a fight promoter and a ringside coach. Do I have any volunteers? Wow! Silence! Cricket, cricket. <laughs> Love you too, guys. Sheesh. Alright, the next step is to pick a location for the fight. And uh, this is going to boil down to your preference of fighting and the gear that you have. So... You can do it out in the open if you'd like, but uh, understand that when you make this guy, the Wither Boss is eventually going to fly up in the air, and he's going to be shooting stuff at you, and you're going to be running around like a chicken with its head cut off, and uh, you're going to be shooting your bow at it, and it's going to be doing some damage to you, but it's it's going to stay just out of reach of your sword. So frankly, I think it's smarter to fight him underground in, the, in an enclosed area. So I've got a little spot down here, and that way you can just get him up against the ropes, you know, like Rocky, and just pummel him, bust up his ribs. Get him, Rock. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do right here. This is the ring. And you get a ringside seat. And I'm going to put some lighting out, even though he's just going to smash them anyway. Because he's going to he's gonna totally destroy this place. And that's something to consider. If you When you pick a spot, make sure it's not near anything that you like. Or anything that you built. Or any animals or creatures that you love. Because he will destroy them all. So this is where we're going to fight. The ceiling's going to keep him down nice and close, and I'll be able to chop, chop, chop until he's dead. So let's... We are going to make a locker room. Let's go in here and make a little locker room just to get my stuff out of the way. And, and this is just in case. I don't intend to have to use this. Hi, Iron. But if we do, we can hide in the locker room and uh, eat, heal, and then go back out and fight him. But uh, you really do want to do this quickly because he heals up on his own. Oh, in fact, I'll have to take a look at that book that I wrote up for you guys to give you an idea of some of the things he's capable of. Now, I don't intend to die here. I intend to beat the snot out of him. But just in case, I'm going to put some stuff in here and keep it out of his way so it don't get blowed up. I don't think I need those chickenses. And, okay. Ready? All right. Let's go. And in this corner, we have the Wither Boss. Boo. Boo. And in this corner, we have Pablo. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so this is how you make them. Your soul sand arranged like so, just like you would do with an iron golem. And then the three heads up on top. I'm going to wait on that last head because we're not quite ready. And we're going to put you right there, Mr. Head. I don't think I'm going to use my bow. Let's just take a look at this really quickly before we uh, ring the bell for round one. So when this guy is made, he's going to power up on spawn. And it's about 10 seconds long. He just sits there. He doesn't do anything. He powers up. His health is going to go from left to right. It's going to fill up. You can't hurt him, and he won't hurt you. But as soon as he comes out of that mode, he's going to have a huge explosion, and then he's going to attack you. And he's going to shoot wither skulls at you, and they will explode, and they can cause the wither effect on you. The wither drains your health and heals his health. So... That's nasty business. Um, at 50% health, once you get him down to about half of his health, he's going to gain a wither armor. And you'll see it on him. It turns blue. And uh, at that point, he is immune to arrows. So if you're using an arrow strategy, you're going to have to run in and sh sh uh, hit him with the sword eventually anyway. And your health potions, if you throw them at them, are not going to hurt him anymore either after 50%. So, um, And he also loses flight. So that's a good thing. Now, um, he will slowly heal over time, even as you're fighting him. It's just a, a little you know, half a heart every, I don't know, five or ten seconds. Don't quote me on that, but it's not a lot, but he will heal back. So you've got to keep at him. Be like a pit bull. Don't give up. And uh, he breaks most blocks except for bedrock and I think uh, end portal or something like that. So if you want to fight him on the uh, bedrock, go all the way down to the bedrock and have a nice, solid footing. That's not a bad idea. 
He's immune to fire and lava, and when you kill him, he's going to give you two to three levels. And this is really what we're after here, folks, is the nether star. That's what we want. We want that star. Give it, give it, give it. All right, let's go beat him up. He's been uh, beating people up and taking their lunch money, and we're going to give him a taste of his own medicine. I'm going to get some potions ready, my apple. So I'm going to drink a speed and drink a, a strength. And then night vision. Oh, yeah, by the way, I made a night vision potion so we can see this because I know he's going to be... He's going to knock down all the lighting down here. It's going to be too dark to see. And we'll have some health potions. I really don't think we're going to need them, though. Golden apple has to be et, like, immediately. All right. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready, coach. All right. First, let's put the head down. And ding, ding, ding. Round one. There he goes. He's powering up. Drink. Okay, get away because he's going to explode. He's going to explode. We're going to eat drink that, and we're going to eat this apple, which gives us... There he comes. Oh, yeah. Hey, get away from my locker, man. Yeah, we can see nicely. This is good. And just keep railing away. As you can see, I am under the wither effect. He's saying something to me, whatever he said. Come on, Mr. T. There he goes. He's going down. He will kill himself, by the way, if you let him. He explodes. Oh, yeah. All right. That was less than... Less than a minute. <laughs> they were... Oh, less, like, less than 30 seconds. Wow. Wow. Did I take him to town or what? Take that, you big bully. Nether star. There it is. And as I was saying at the end there, he can blow himself up. And if I think if he blows himself up, you might not get the nether star. So, yeah, up close when he's shooting you and he explodes, he actually damages himself. The golden apple, I think, is absolutely critical because you get a, uh, a really healthy regeneration for about 30 seconds um your health will just regen any damage that he's doing it comes right back it's really super and it also gives you a couple of resistances this one in particular is really nice in that fight and that's why we make golden apples they're expensive and it takes a lot of gold to make them but uh well worth it i'm glad i had that one hey where's my locker room i gotta go undress and wait a minute oh wait i forgot them adrian adrian <laughs> All right, never mind. That's Rocky. Um, I think we're done. I think we're done here. So we got another star, and it's time to go. I'm sorry that fight was a little bit mm, anticlimactic. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm all punch drunk. I just... <laughs> I don't know which way's up, which way's left. Ooh, wow, I got a lucky shot in or something. All right, gathering up my stuff. I'm heading back to the surface, and I will see you next time. And what we'll do is we'll use this nether star... And make our, um, we'll make a beacon. We're going to make a beacon. That's what we do with these. We make beacons. Yeah, check it out. It's nice, huh? But it's mine. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed.